Well, the Lord has blessed us with a beautiful day. We were, we're a little worried about the rain, but uh, God has blessed in that way too. As he has blessed in the gathering of your friends and family here. Someone has said marriage is the total commitment of two total people for a total life. I've known him for about three years now and probably not as long as a lot of you and I try to be the type of friend to people that you are to me and that'll go a long ways for all of us so I just really remember the first time I met them about three years ago and we were at a standing in San Francisco standing in a line for the greatest pizza place they say that has ever existed so there's an hour before you get in and one of the many local homeless men came up and wanted to start discussing the virtues of the price of deodorant and the, the virtues of not purchasing it and using that money for alcohol. And how, so, so we were having a, a just obviously a logical discussion and Francis offered to buy this man a drink. And I was thinking it was more time to call the police. So I mean, this is the type of person you, you I feel lucky to know and um, if we could, I would really like to raise a toast to them and to him and Annabelle and just thank you Francis and Annabelle for all you've done and the type of people you are. The world needs more of you and less of me. All right. Annabelle and Francis, to love and laughter, to happiness, to live happily ever after. Thank you for having me tonight. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Francis, um, I think I've known Francis for almost 20 years because we were neighbors in, in Winnipeg, I mean in Manila. We actually grew up five meters from a uh, train tracks and uh, yeah so to to be here and celebrate and them celebrating their wedding here at our property is really an honor and privilege and we're so happy we're really happy to do this uh, did this for you guys and Belle congratulations when Francis proposed to me he said where do you want to get married I've only been here once and it was December and the snow was like till this high. I told him I want to get married in your cousin's property and he said, are you crazy? <laughs> Love is hard to define. I once heard a, a young man say to his girlfriend, I love you so much. I would climb mountains. I would cross oceans. So I'll see you on Friday if it doesn't rain.
Annabelle, I am so blessed to have an amazing woman to share the rest of my life with. I promise to love you with all my heart and soul, to share every adventure of this life, to always be a rock that you can count on. I promise to always laugh with you like we always do, travel and see the world and experience new things and meet new people because that's what we both love doing the most. I promise to be an ever supportive husband and loving father to our children. I promise to always be your best friend no matter what. I will always be here for you, loving you until my last breath. <laughs> My love, thank you for everything. I know our start wasn't perfect, but you have been my rock when I feel weak, for comforting me when I feel down, for putting us first before anything else. Thank you for loving me unconditionally, even sacrificing your own, your own needs for me. I can't be any happier to be standing next to you. and declaring our love for each other in front of our families and friends. Whatever makes me happy, and I know that for a fact. I know that's always true. For the past six years, you have shown me time and time again how special I am for you. Like you always said, you're only addicted to me and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me a loving home. I promise that I will always be your best friend. Thank you for always listening when I, I vent. I promise that you always have my ear to listen. I promise to hold you every time you feel down. I promise to be your best friend I promise to be the person who will, who will carry you when you can't walk anymore. I love you.
never give up. It's a total commitment for a total life. Scripture, the verse in the context says, from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with children's children. So keep on loving, keep on caring, keep on never give up, endure and enjoy. So I trust these thoughts from that passage will uh, be helpful. I know you probably won't remember, but they'll play it back on the tape. <laughs> and so uh, I trust that it will be a blessing to you. And now we want to exchange vows. And so would you face one another? Francis Lawrence Martin Basilides, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, honor her, keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Dear Statai, I know the past week has been a wild ride. We're finally here. Thank you so much for all the love, for your unwavering support, for making sure I am not stressed at all. You are the husband any bride could ask for. Thank you for taking care of everything, even the tiniest detail. I couldn't be any proud of you. I love you very much as I always told you. I will always be here for you. Can't wait to see you down the aisle. Love you so much. Nanai. For as much as you, Francis Lawrence Martin Basilides, and you, Annabelle Ligoton, have reaffirmed your vows which you made May 4th, 2018 at Santa Clara County Court and now have declared and restated your commitments to one another before God and before all these witnesses. It is now my pleasure in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I bless you and I pronounce you husband and wife.